done. I'm going to go ahead and clean those up a little bit here more, a little bit more here, and I'm going to save them out. And I'm just going to set that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three here. I'll do the other three first. We'll do the other three first. I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hide them, and they turn dark gray, so that's how you know they're hidden. And if you can't see them all of a sudden, go into Show Hidden Properties and check that. I'm going to reselect them, and I'm going to go to Set Presentation. I'm going to set them all as correctives because they're correctives. Um, correctives won't save out with shaping presets. They don't save out with the other presets, shaping pose presets. And it's possible in theory to set up clothing to ignore them. Although last I looked, that wasn't working right. I'm also going to go ahead and color them a big scary red color so that anybody who does happen to see them will leave them alone because they're not supposed to be used by, by the end user. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off auto follow on those two. That one's a property, so the properties don't auto follow by default. I'm going to go ahead and set off auto follow and turn off auto follow on the two more because I don't want the navel sucking. I don't want t-shirts to suck in when the navel's applied. Um, and I don't want the eye closes to mess up hair. So I flip that, and that's the auto follow icon. You can just flip them on and off like that. Or you can go into your parameter setting and turn it. There it is. There's a checkbox for auto follow. Or um, you can right click and go into right there at auto follow, enable and disable. So there's always a bunch of different ways to do stuff. I'm going to go ahead and set the grouping now because they need to be in the right group. And the right group for these, because they're hidden JCM and MCMs and all that, would be over here. I don't have a Bob group under people, so I'm just going to go to people and then make a Bob group. And then these here, I'm going to clean up the names. So that's Bob's body. And this one here is Bob's head. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to set their presentation, set them all to shapes. That way they'll save out with, with shaping presets and they'll show up on the shaping dial. And I'm just going to throw some random colors on here because they're close to what happens to that color. Yeah, that's a weird color combination. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and there's a bunch of different ways you can put them in the right group. You can come over here and right there you can, you can change that path, put them in the right group. Or you can do it from here. You can go set property group. Or you can just expand to the property group you want to put them in and then drag and drop them. When you do it that way, though, it's going to close this back up because it has to redraw everything, uh, refresh everything. So you just got to expand it again, go find the one you want, drag it, drop it, and one more time. And drag and drop. I'm going to go ahead and save these morphs now. I'm going to get out of edit mode. I'm going to go ahead and save these morphs now. And. I haven't set up morph icons yet because I don't have my textures ready yet and I want my morph icons to have the texture on them. So I'm going to wait and I'll do that closer to the end. But for right now I'm going to go ahead and save as support asset, morph assets, and then select the content directory that I want them saved in. Of course that's the one I'm working in. And make sure the vendor name is actually my vendor name. Give it the product name. And we got to go find these morphs real quick here. And I know that I had some po or some some hidden morphs. I can just check that whole group because I want the whole group to save out. And then under people, I had Bob. And under head, I had people, real world, Bob's head. And under full body, people, real world, at Bob's body. So now if I come back over here to my content folder, you can see that Studio's written out the data folder. And far enough in, you get to the PA name, product name, and there are the dials, all nice and prettily saved out. So I'm going to go ahead and save some shaping presets. I'm not a big fan of them, but some people like them. A lot of characters have them, so I'm going to go ahead and do some too. And I'm just going to do I'm going to do a shaping preset that applies both of my morphs. So it just applies that morph there. So dial that morph in. We'll come over here to save as shaping preset, and make sure it's under my folder. We're going to go Bob shape apply. That work now. Let's do this. Bob shape. Full apply. And over here, there's two ways to do it. You can drill down, or you can go uncheck all, and then drill down and find that one dial that you wanted to save the information out for. 
more, we'll do a full body the other way. Save as, shaping presets, arm shape full, change that to body. You can go check only all modified. And if you're lucky, that's the only that's the only morph, the only property that's actually modified. So that's the one that's going to save out. And you do another one for the head. I'm not going to because you get the idea. The easiest way because you're going now. What about the the remove presets? The easiest way to do the remove presets. I'm going to delete those just so I don't trip over them. Just go ahead and copy those. Rename them. Grab them and drag them over into a text editor. Change the ones to a zero. I'm also going to go ahead and I name this one full apply. I'm going to throw an exclamation mark in the middle here. Um, that way you get sort of the top because I can't put an exclamation mark at the beginning of the name. But I can put one there so that the full will show up above the bodies because again, it's, it's, it's sorted that way up until then. And then there's an exclamation mark, so that's okay. And if I come over here and I look at my folder now, I've got these shaping presets. Let me refresh it just to make sure they're right. Okay, so that applies. If I go to current, there you go. I did it again. Apply remove. So there's the apply. There's my horribly named remove. I did it to both of them. It's not apply remove. That would be silly. Just remove. All right. So there's apply, there's, whoops, it's not there anymore because I changed the name. Refresh. There's the apply, there's the remove, there's the body apply, there's the body remove. Normally there'd be a head, um, potentially uh, navel, females often have nipples, elf ears, stuff like that. But that's how you do the shaping presets.